Welcome back everyone. Right now, several people are still in the hospital as we speak. Instead of enjoying their day at the Masters and their driver, he's facing DUI charges after their tour bus flipped on Interstate 20 on the way to Augusta National. And we've since learned there were warning signs at the time. A couple of the people who were passengers on the bus had told us that since leaving Atlanta at about 7.30 this morning, that this driver had actually drifted off the road twice. Passengers telling the 11 Alive that, that the swerving actually started 10 minutes into the trip. So how did he keep going on for another two hours? 11 Alive's Ryan Kruger is uh, live to answer that and several of our other top questions tonight, Ryan? Yeah, Ron, we actually had one passenger tell us that they were already planning a different way to get home because they didn't trust that driver. And now that passenger telling us he wishes he would have said something early on. All of us were thinking some of us maybe should have uh, tried to stop and see if this guy was actually under the influence or not, but you would never expect that because he was driving fine in city streets and city traffic. Shrias Kataria tells us he now regrets not saying anything before the crash, but he assumed the driver, Stephen Hoppenbrower, could be trusted. Many of you were asking us about Hoppenbrower's past, and we checked and we couldn't find any criminal record for him in the metro area. According to Georgia state law, a commercial driver loses their license for a year if they get a DUI, and if they get a second one, then they lose their CDL for life. Meanwhile, the company Hoppenbrower worked for, Jet Executive Limousine Services, based out of Swanee, has a satisfactory record with the Georgia Department of Public Safety. We also learned tonight that all 18 passengers were clients of the accounting firm Cherry Beckard. The company put together this once-in-a-lifetime trip to the Masters. Hey, Cherry Beckard put in a lot of effort to put this event together. I mean, they didn't deserve to have something like this happen. Now, because this was a party bus, passengers tell me there was only one seat belt on the entire bus. That was the driver's. He was wearing it. Of course, that driver was later walked away in handcuffs. I'm Cheryl Preheim. 19 people on that bus, many of them hurt, but fortunately, every one of them survived. But sadly, that is not always the case. In 2007, a bus carrying a college baseball team from Ohio fell over a bridge and onto Interstate 75 in Atlanta. Seven people died. In 2016, a tour bus on the way to a casino collided with a stopped semi in Gilmer County, killing one, injuring 43. Last June, a church bus traveling from Alabama overturned on Camp Creek Parkway. One teenager died. Three dozen people had to go to the hospital. This West Georgia Technical College bus flipped after the drivers drifted into another lane and sideswiped a tractor trailer. Thirteen people were hurt and the bus driver was also charged with driving under the influence. Maybe you were thinking like I was today, what would I do if I was in this situation? Ron, as a former police officer, what would you tell people who might be worried to hurt someone's feeling or yeah. misjudge someone who isn't impaired? As a former police officer, the first thing I would think is the driver DUI. Is there a medical emergency or is that driver suffering from some sort of sleep deprivation? But what's really important here, Cheryl, is the passengers, they have to engage the driver mm. to stay safe. It reminds me of a story. Just a few weeks ago, there was a, a bus load of people traveling from Phoenix to Dallas, noticed mm. the driver was nodding off. One of them tried to go up and stop the driver. She refused yeah. to stop, so a, a whole group of them from the bus together went up, and that was finally what made her pull the bus over. You know, you just can't be shy. You have to do it to make sure that everyone on that bus gets to, its des to their destination safely. Yeah, better to offend someone and, and arrive there okay. Yeah, that's right. Thanks a lot, Cheryl. Our 24-7 digital team is staying on top of this story for you folks at 11alive.com. That's where you can find more photographs, videos, plus all the latest details on that investigation.